My motivation for Topogo came from the frustration that we have with existing media tools being all about mice and keyboards and being non-interactive in a mechanical way. Topovo is what we call a 3D constructive assembly, um, which is like a set of building blocks, but with the ability to record and playback motion. So the geometry is based on passives, which are kind of these regular components, static components, and then these active components, which um, basically record and playback motion by pressing the button, recording a motion, pressing it again, and it'll play it back for you. In the past, if you wanted to think about how something locked, you would have to do a physics simulation and analysis uh, using a computer with a screen. Uh, for the most part, and this is completely inaccessible to any children anywhere, and most adults too. Uh, and so now, you know, you can take more of the perspective, well, uh, you know, I'm going to bring my toy to life. And how do you do that? How do you make that meaningful? So in some ways, the main educational goal of Topobo is to say, well, what do kids learn by playing with blocks? They might learn about how a building stands up. When you start to make those blocks move, can they start to learn how bodies move? Can they start to think about why does an ant move differently than a horse? And ask those questions in a more refined and directed way. We really wanted it to be gender neutral in terms of its form and color and all those things. And we found that girls were just as adept and sometimes even more so at, at, at being, first of all, at being interested in playing with it, which is really important. And then also in actually creating things that were you know, sophisticated. One thing that, that is, is unique about this is that a lot of uh, computer technology is aimed at things at a distance. This is more about how can we use technology to reinforce communication up close. Uh, we saw kids doing this when they would build and they would coordinate their actions. One, two, three, go. And three different kids would grab different parts of the creature and try and animate it and choreograph it together. If you compare this to a typical computer, there's one mouse and one keyboard and, and kids have to take turns with it. Topobo also forces kids to actually look back at their own bodies and to, to use their bodies as, as really part of the learning process, which is very different from most ways that new kinds of emerging technologies, systems work for education. You know, now we can say, well, uh, we made this toy and it drew on the modular ro robotics work happening across the street and the sensor networks work happening next door and the me mechanical engineering and, and design backgrounds that both Amanda and I had. Um, and so it's, it's really cutting edge technical research, um, although that ha that's not really the point. You know, the <laughs> point is to say, what is it that's interesting about this research? How can we make it really accessible and intuitive for people so they can start to get their heads around it just through play? Part of the motivation for also working on Topobo was to really keep this thing and make this thing really fun for us to play, to play with and to build. And we sort of went after it, sort of taking on this notion of, well, if we enjoy playing with it and creating with it and ha or having a really fun time with it, then others will too. And that's, that's very unique in, in a kind of research environment.